Prophecies. The first prophecy for humanity. But why is it not for human beings? Man's first prophet. There are records of him in scriptures of the three major religions on earth. But why are there only a few words? He revealed the secrets of the universe, the secrets of heaven. However, the less the humans know, the better it is. Who am I? Where am I? Today I'll bring you the big prophecy, the book of Enoch. Generally speaking, a prophecy is about things related to our lives, such as when a war will happen and when a big earthquake will happen. But the prophecy I'm talking today is very strange. The main content of the prophecy is not for human beings. Well, it's not for human beings, is it for ghosts? Well, kind of. To be precise, this book of prophecy is for demons. The demons are the fallen angels from ancient times and this book of prophecy explains in detail the common memory of mankind, the secrets of the Great Flood. Well, actually, Noah's Ark is technically not a ship, but we'll talk about that in the future. Unbelievable! Is this prophecy a fantasy novel? No, at least I don't think so. The Book of Enoch was part of the canon of the Bible a long time ago, but it was deleted. The event is known as the Council of Nicaea. The Council of Nicaea has been called as one of the biggest events in human history. The Roman Empire took a look at the Bible. Ah, what does this have to do with the Book of Enoch with Jesus Christ? Nothing much related, to be honest. Well, delete it. Well, you can delete it if you want to, but Earth doesn't revolve around the Roman Empire. In that distance, Ethiopia. Their version of the Bible contained the Book of Enoch. According to the Bible, these scrolls were brought back to Africa by the Queen of Sheba after meeting King Solomon. Sheba is located in what is now Ethiopia. According to the speculations, King Solomon not only gave Queen Sheba a lot of gold, silver and jewellery, but also presented um, a royal gift, you can say. <laughs> I think you understand what that is. Uh, from then on, the descendants of the Queen of Sheba became the legendary African Jews, the Beda Israelites, also called Ethiopian Jews. In 1947, humans discovered the Dead Sea Scrolls that shocked the world. The manuscript of the Book of Enoch inside was finally rediscovered which proves that the Book of Enoch was indeed part of the Bible before the Council of Nicaea. Let me tell you something about Enoch. Enoch, in the Book of Enoch, has appeared in all three important scriptures of the world, the Hebrew Bible, Christian Bible, and Quran. He is the great-great-great-great-grandson of Adam, the seventh generation of humans since Adam, the first prophet of ancient mankind. His prophecies were definitely the first prophecy on earth. We all know about Adam and Noah, but less about Enoch. Yes, this is where it gets weird. The three major religion sculpture, uh, scriptures I just mentioned, the canon of Judaism, Christianity and Islam, actually have very few records about Enoch. Only a few words. For example, there are only three sentences in the Bi Christian Bible. Enoch walked faithfully with God for 300 years. Although Enoch lived a total of 365 years, then he was no more because God took him away. Well, he walked with God for 300 years and what happened during these 300 years, we don't know. But there, it is recorded in the ancient Hebrew books about what happened between these 300 years. Enoch came back once and brought many souvenirs from heaven. Yes, souvenirs, including the words of angels astronomical data, geographical data, and of course most important information, such as the prophecies. The place where Enoch returned was mentioned in the Quran, which is Giza. Yes, the place where the Great Pyramid of Giza in Egypt is. Yeah, such a coincidence. Many religious scholars believe that the Great Pyramid of Giza was built with the technology that Enoch <laughs> brought from heaven and was used to preserve the original books that recorded heaven during the Great Flood. There are too many stories in here. In the future, I'll specifically explain to you the manuscripts about heaven recorded by Enoch, one of which is the Book of Enoch. This book records a story what that happened between Adam and Eve being expelled from the Garden of Eden by God to Noah's birth. 
explains the age-old mysteries in the common memory of mankind. Angels, giants, and the flood. Why did giants appear on Earth in ancient times? Why did the Earth experience the great flood? What is the secret of heaven? Next, I will give you a talk about the prophecy that is not meant for human beings. Before the creation of human, there were some angels walking on Earth. They were called the Watchers. Uh, it's called Eglegolis in ancient Greek. And, is, and the very solemn monophonic chant we hear in the Catholic churches is the Gregorian chant. The literal translation is the chant of the Watchers. Pope Gregory I said that an angel taught him how to sing. The name of the Pope also means Watcher. Hmm, such a coincidence. A watcher is a profession of angels. Watchers are divided into good watchers and fallen watchers. The two factions are always against each other. We'll talk about that later. The original duty, their original duty on Earth was to observe the world, to see if the temperature was too hot enough, if it's too cold, and to adjust the temperature, to see if there's enough rainfall, plants grow normally, humans and animals reproduce normally, whether the world is operating according to God's laws, finding out bugs on Earth, such as whether there are comets hitting the Earth, whether there are black holes suddenly appearing nearby, and if so, they adjust the world's parameters. Another duty of the Watchman is to protect the secrets of heaven, and some things cannot be known to humans, because human beings are may understand partially about the secret, and human beings have their own pure desires and cannot control themselves. Unrestricted use of these secrets could lead to humanity's own extinction. Regarding the Watchers, here is a strange phenomenon in quantum physics. Yes, quantum physics. When human beings observe microscopic particles, such as the double-slit interference experiment of quantum physics, the strangest thing about the experiment is that as long as there is a Watcher being added to the experiment, no matter if it's a video camera or other electronic observation equipment, as long as the observation record records are recorded in our universe, such as in a hard disk or even an atom. The result of this experiment will immediately change. Light waves will immediately become particles. Among this is like a kind of mysterious power, which will not let you know how quantum physics changes. It seems to have intelligence, and you can't see it even if you want to. There are many related experiments, and it may be that the Watchers are monitoring gods to prevent humans from knowing the secrets of quantum physics. Schneid, goddammit, is there someone looking at me as I reveal the secrets? The Watchers find out that Earth is already functioning normally. Nothing's going wrong, everything's running smoothly, while God didn't have other arrangements for them, so they started to want to make some trouble. Maybe they feel like God likes mankind so much and they feel unbalanced. So they start to mm, slander God and speak something bad about God. And they see that there are more and more human on earth and the human female are quite beautiful. So they started to make them move. Is it all God's plan? Then 200 angels descended on Mount Hermon. Her Herman, Mount Hermon. They gathered together and talked to each other. Brothers, let's marry wives and children like human beings. Is that cool? At the same time, the eldest angel, Azizel, stood up and said, Since you all have this intention, but if the divinity blames, I would be sad if, you take, if I have to take all the responsibility. So 20 leading angels said, Let us all swear together that we shall take our responsibilities, even if we are cursed. We will not change our minds. So, 200 angels went down the mountain to marry and have children with humans. Let me talk about Mount Hermon. It means to curse. It is now in Israel. Mount Hermon was recorded in the New Testament that before Jesus Christ was crucified, he went up the mountain with three of his disciples, Peter, James and John. At first, Jesus was walking in front and suddenly they found that Jesus was shining bright as the sun and his face and clothes were shining with dazzling white light. This term is called transfigure. 
Transfiguration on Mount Hermon. So, Mount Hermon is quite magical. And other coincidence is that Another coincidence is that Mount Hermon is located at 33 degrees north latitude and directly op opposite the 33 degrees north latitude is Roswell, New Mexico, USA, where UFO crashed. Yeah, UFOs. <laughs> the theory of extraterrestrial creation believes that Mount Hermon should be the energy gathering area of Earth or the place for a space-time portal where these angels were actually aliens. Let's move on. After 200 watchers went down the mountain, they turned into human beings and lived with human women. These bewitched women, um, or I should say, um, uh, yeah, bewitched women, gave birth to hybrid babies of angels and humans, historically known as the Nephilims often translated as the son of God and the great man, I don't know why. As time passed, strange things happened. These babies are getting bigger and bigger. When they became adults, they can reach up to the height of 130 meters, which is about the height of the current 40-story buildings. These hybrid babies ate human food when from the beginning, but human fed them all their food and they still could not get enough. So, what to do? The giants are so hungry that they could only eat wild animals <laughs> in the mountains, wild animals in mountains and fish in water, but still food couldn't satisfy their appetite. And finally, they began to eat human. There is also a book in the Dead Sea Scrolls called The Book of Giants. The book is basically broken to the point where we can't even read it, but it is in these broken sentences that it is a diary written by a giant. The Book of Giants mentioned an even bizarre thing. That is, these 200 fallen angels, in addition to seduce human women, also found cows, goats, wild donkeys, and many other birds and beasts, each of which was 200 exactly. It should be <laughs> the things that you should be thinking about now. According to the logic, they probably tried to mate with animals, therefore, the centaurs, minotaurs, and human beasts and other hybrid animals often appear in myths, and the legends may be in their works. The extraterrestrial creation theory believes that these fallen angels are actually aliens. They came to Earth and did a DNA experiment to mix human DNA and animal DNA to create hybrid animals and giants. In the end, the experiment was unsuccessful, so the mass extinction was carried out. The Great Flood. <laughs>